Lexi is out and about, so let's head out and see what's going on. Good morning, Lexi. How are you? Talk to each other. <laughs> yeah, talk to hey, each other. Hey, Brad, <laughs> we are doing good out here. We are out here at Pueblo today. It is such a cool, cool spot. So I'm standing here with Michael, the owner. So Michael, tell us a little bit about Pueblo and kind of what you guys do. Yes, so Pueblo opened eight years ago. Uh -huh. um, we've always been based in Central Phoenix and we, on top of just providing great indoor plants, great household goods, we kind of provide space to people. It's our big thing. Mm -hmm. We kind of, yeah, give people a place to just exist. I love it. Well, the space is so cool. Let's kind of walk through here a little oh, yeah. bit and kind of check out some of this stuff. So there are so many different types of plants here and we're kind of getting into that time in Arizona where it's getting hot outside so we're probably going to be focusing more on like kind of indoor plants so tell me some of the best indoor plants for someone who's looking to kind of start their collection to like a newbie yeah um, <laughs> I always tell people look for the most interesting thing to you in here because okay. the most interesting thing is going to be the easiest and we again don't carry anything that's not just easy to care for here mm -hmm. something that doesn't work in Phoenix gets cycled right out um, but it really just depends on what you're into. We have like a shape and color for everybody. Yeah, I do love that there's so much variety in here. I mean, you guys not only have the plants themselves, you have the pots, you have the soil, everything to kind of care for and take care of your beautiful new plant baby. So for someone like me, who I unfortunately have a black thumb, a I cannot time. keep anything alive, which is too bad. Tell me some plants that would be good for me. Okay. Someone who has a tendency to overwater, uh, root rot, just anything you could come up with, I have experienced. So tell me a little bit about what I should, which plants I should be looking at. Okay, no, we have two types of carers. We have people that um, get plants that thrive on neglect and people that get plants that thrive on overcare. Okay. So <laughs> generally, a lot of the plants that we have over here are waxiest plants. Ah. The waxier they are, the less care they need generally. I again tell people thrives on neglect. So ZZ plants, rubber trees, anything in this sort of really thick capacity. Then for the people who generally overcare, really simple stuff. The classic looking house plants, the stuff you've seen your whole life, mm -hmm. are generally the easiest. There's a reason why they're classic. Okay. Um, Monstera, um, ficus, pothos, really simple vining plants. Cool. A lot of that, yeah, will just thrive on almost under any condition. Well, that's definitely me. I tend to overwater. I tend to, to smother them with love and water. Um, really cool, but yeah, tell me a little bit else, more about what you guys do here, because I know we have some cool, we have Earth Day coming up, we have Arbor Day coming mm -hmm. up. I mean, do you guys do any like special events or anything for that? Yes, yeah, so we do everything from um, certain wine nights to, we'll do wine nights, we will do garden nights, we do plant sales, we have everything that you can need for like a shaded patio, something wow. inside, um, even landscape plants. I love that. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you guys can come here and hang out and just check everything out, grab some plants while you're in here, and also just kind of enjoy the space, because it's like you were saying earlier, it's just a great space to come and have community and just be all together. I really, really love that. No, yeah, we think of it like a little oasis in the desert. It really right is, off it really is. So really quickly, let's go in here, because this is so cool. And Michael, as we kind of walk through here, Tell everybody where they can find more information about you guys, your location, your website, all that cool stuff. Yes, yeah, so we're located just south of Roosevelt on Grand Avenue, um, just right outside of downtown. From there, our website is Pueblo.life. Our Instagram, we're at Pueblo.life. And other than that, um, just search Pueblo Phoenix and you'll find us pretty easily. I love it. Cool, Michael. Thank you guys so much. I'm probably going to get some soil and some plants to take home.